the cold season has started. And the only way you can protect yourself is by making sure that your resistance is up, because you can't go off and hide away and say, be totally free from a place of germs. And it's the same with the mind. We live in a world where everybody has greed, aversion, and delusion. There are only a few people who don't. We have to make sure that we keep up our resistance. This is why we, one of the reasons why we work with the breath, to give us, give us a sense of well-being inside. So you don't go out feeding off of other people's defilements. You've got something better to feed on here. At the same time, you need to keep up your, your discernment to remind yourself that whatever other people may think, if it's not in line with the Dharma, it doesn't really matter. You want to hold the Dharma as your standard as to what's really worthwhile, what's important, what really is good. Because people will tell you all kinds of other things. But where are they taking you? They don't know. We've got the example of the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. And it's our conviction in them that makes us want to take on their teachings. We don't really know for sure until we've received some of the benefits ourselves. But you don't have to wait till the end of life, and you don't have to wait till you're an arhat to get some of the benefits you begin to see as you train the mind, give it a better place to stay right here. It is a lot more resistant to other people's mo moods, other people's defilements, and of course more resistant to its own. Because after all, if we didn't have defilements inside us, we wouldn't be able to pick up on other people's. So learn to build up your resistance, because that's the only way you're going to be able to si survive in this world. In other words, the only way your goodness is going to be able to survive. And John Swite used to say that we, we like to think of pain as our enemy and our defilements as our friends. We've got it all backwards. We can learn from pain, so it's not necessarily an enemy. And our defilements are certainly not our friends. So keep your eye out and keep up your assistance to them so they don't take over. <laughs>